Adventurosaurus. My name is Matt and today we're going to be looking at another N4 release. This is the Star Marta Action Pack which has just come out with N4. This is obviously the new style. If you've seen the Nomad Action Pack it comes in the same uh, design box which is a little bit different to older ones. Let's just... this is uh, something you might be seeing in another unboxing soon. Uh, that's Zayadon's Intervention Troops for Hacker's Lab. And but this is the Star Mada Action Pack, the brand new Sectorial for the O12, which deploys from fleets. So, some nice artwork on the box and a good uh, group shot. Let's try and not get the light in there. And here we have a details about what everything is in here. So we have a blue coat with a submachine gun, uh, solid in with a shot close combat weapon, a crusher with a boarding shotgun and decharges, bronzes, multi-rifle and light riot stopper, kappa with a multi-sniper, kappa hacker, kappa unit with a HMG, we have a law keeper with a multi-piston and a bike, and here we have the crusher with a multi-rifle and decharges. This is the uh, AD1. Let's bring it up. Maybe. 81, and this is the infiltration one, I believe. So let's put that there for the moment, and let's open this box. And this box seems a little bit big to me to be holding many miniatures, but let's see what it's like inside. Uh -huh. So inside we have a nice little bit of plastic reinforcing. And we have a little bit of information here. So this is Starmada Unity Book. Starmada is a miniature board game of Starship Combat from Majestic 12 Games. Of course, Belly doesn't manufacture or sell this game. We thank Majestic Games for giving us permission to use their trademark Starmada. So this board game, uh, let's use this one, this, one. this board game here, is where Star Modern name comes from, and this is interesting. So, Star Modern is a miniatures board game of Starship Combat. At its most basic level, players take command of space fleets in, in a general attempt to reduce each other to just, to just so much space junk. Okay, I'm reading this back. I'm sorry, this is terrible. At its most advanced, the game can be customized to breathe life into any science fiction background that players might imagine. Novices shouldn't fret. The core set of rules has been designed with simplicity and ease of play in mind, accessibility even to beginners. On the other hand, seasoned veterans should find the concise nature of the rules quite refreshing. It allows players to concentrate on the finer points of squashing their opponents rather than arguing about rules interpretations, without sacrificing any other flavour or excitement of more complex games. Simple but not simplistic is the guiding principle. So this could be an interesting game to play alongside Infinity if you want to do a campaign which involves a lot of drops, so just keep an eye out for this. We'll get it the right way around eventually. So this comes in the box and just gives you a little bit of information about where the name Star Mana comes from. Inside the box we have our always ever present fantastic line of fire bases. So there's a lot here. And let's start with Solid. The first thing that comes up is Solid. So he comes in four pieces, it looks like. So here is his body, let's see if we can get this to come up. Yeah. So this is his main body. Slick back hair, looking very chic and he's wonky. And again, as I mentioned with Octavia uh, for the N4 book, book review or unboxing, you know, unboxing, these miniatures look to be more polished than all the ones. If you've seen some of the Cold Code 1 videos, um, some of the drone parts look a little bit dirty and old, but 
I like that texture on the cloak there. That's going to turn up really nicely. They still need the usual trimming off of the extra flash bits, but all in all it looks nice. I like the design on the sword, and I hope that if Hacker's Lamb get a new Saladin, uh, we will also get a nice looking sword. And I think it is his pistol. Very delicate pistol. Looks nice, a little bit of a more traditional, modern era design rather than super sci-fi. And by super sci-fi, I mean if you've seen the CSU with a boarding shotgun, her pistol has a very interesting and unique design. Up next, we have the blue coat. So this guy comes in four parts as well. So he has his torso, this bit, his head, uh, let's not drop him, Mr. Masher. So some great details and you can hear Hannah, one of our rescue cats, down below, that's his torso. Now this guy is equipped with a submachine gun, which I'll show you shortly, but here are his legs. Again, some great detailing with the is that hexing on the back of his legs. Hello. Here is his pistol, though, which will be very difficult to show you in full view. But here we go. I'm sorry, I have kind of long nails. So that looks pretty nice. And the submachine gun, obviously, because um, O12 supply Aleph with all their weapons, these will all be very familiar weapons to Aleph players. And something I kind of would have liked would to see things like Yudao, the Yudao uh, from OSS in a um, in Star Mata. A little bit of more Aleph pity things. As I quite like the Yudao, probably one of my favourite looking uh, box of miniatures. Um, including the guy from Carlsman. Are you going to come? Do you want to come over here? You can come. Come say hello. So this little cat is a three month year old rescue king called uh, Hanachan. The rescue cats, um, and if they're too young, oh god, she's going to knock the cat. There we go. There's a up close one of her. Um, this looks like it's the bronze. So this guy here is the bronze. Look at him. Yes, this is all super interesting, isn't it, kids? Some bonus cats today. Ah. Oh, kitty, I need to put the miniature. Can you move? There we go. What do you think? So this is his legs. Pretty chunky legs. He is a heavy infantry. So. And as always with the more recent designs, he's got some very chunky uh, connecting points to make it very easy for him to be put together. So he's got another. Like, there's a lot of trench coats going on lately. Um, whether because everything is now going to be set on Svalheimer and everybody has to be. Oh, you don't like the smell of them, do you? And then we have his guns. So he comes in four parts. So this looks like it's a multi rifle, right? Multi rifle plus light riot stuff. So again, uh, Aleph style weapons, or O12 style weapons in the hands of O12 as opposed to Aleph. Do you want to get off now? Are you confused? As I was saying, while well, I open up the next one, her and her brother, Hachi, who is currently that way, behind me, um, are rescue cats. And we rescue cats, no, don't chew the photo box. Um, I, stop that. Um, we've rescued a number of cats, and that's what we do with the man we make, is we rescue cats from the street here in Japan. Um, what is this? Piece? This looks like it's his foot standing on something. 
Finn. Okay. Boy, let's go. Go. Sit. Go sit. Go in Go annoy your brother. Or go find one of the other cats. So as I was saying. This. Oh, she's back. <laughs> this is the uh, airborne deployment uh, crusher's leg. I'll see these guys are medium infantry, so they're a little bit more tougher. And nicely armored. This is his main body. Again, big connection point with this fucking colonel. Uh, I mean, kind of. Find Mookie or somebody. See, so there's a big connection point there for the supporting leg. And also for his other arms. Here comes that. No, don't steal the point. This is what happens when you allow cats in your office. Or you give up your office to the cats. And now we have two. Here we are with his little combat knife. And here are the fins for his drop pack. Uh, This was going to be a day when daddy could do some work. You know that, right? Okay, let's pop her back in. Uh, let's take a look at this, I believe, is the Kappa Packer. Oh, this is the Law. Law Keeper. Backdrop of Kappa. Yeah, well, isn't that cute? So, this is the uh, Law Keeper, the main body. Of him and holding on to what looks like it's just the handlebars on the bike, possibly. Or the end of his shotgun. Here is his uh, combi rifle. Mm -hmm. No, you're not stealing them. Try and get both cats in the camera. <laughs> Welcome to the chaos that is trying to do videos with cats. Uh, please enjoy the cats. We'll probably just bring up their close camera and you can just watch the two cats fighting for a while. What is this guy? Uh, this guy's good. Honey, what the, who are you? You must be the other crusher. Or, that was the crusher I just showed you. Oh, sorry, and this is the wall keeper. Here, this is his body. Oh dear. So, there's his body. Here is his multi pistol. And there. And here's the leg. And this just looks like a baton. So can we get that in with the textures against the cat? The cat that help? No. Oh, goodbye, photo box. You've served me well. So if that was the law keeper, let's look at the law keeper's bike. While the cats are distracted. So the bike is nice, one piece. Oh, no, it's not just one piece, there's a couple of pieces. So here's the bike. Nice, weighty one piece, but nothing quite seems weighty after you've held the magnet. And we have the handlebars here. And this is the most important foot. This is the footrest. Which I keep missing on all the bikes I make. It's 
So my Carl Shoe Rider missed hers until I recently painted it up and glued it on as an extra bit. So don't forget to put this on. Um, lastly, let's look at the, um, the cappers. So there are three cappers in here, which are basically the SWC, Special Weapons Options. Um, firstly, I believe this one is the multi sniper So in here is the main body. Nice dramatic pose there for holding this sniper. And here is his, it's not really a backpack, more like a back plate. A huge connector there. And then the textures, which hopefully will be coming out. So, yeah, so this is the multi sniper. Another look so so again let's just uh this comes with the back plate and the back plate is separated there but I believe it's all one piece that just sticks on together as this little bit here it stays on like an antenna here we have him back this is ball, which is nice because doing care sometimes isn't very easy. And at last we have this kitchen chip. The back of it with the joining arms. That we will get into focus so long as the camera stops slashing them. And the front. And at last we have the hacker. Now the hacker comes in a few more extra bits. Um, her body is just this one piece. It looks like she already has the back plate on. If she has the back plate. Then we get something that's happened quite a lot in some of the um, Code 1 products is the arms are getting molded onto their heads and necks so this is the back of the head and this is the front um, this is the front and there's the face which may not be coming into focus very well and lastly it looks like she has a super shingle as opposed to the usual common one so yeah so this has been a quick look 20 minute long unboxing, I'm sorry for that. The extra cats do cause some delays as they climb all over everything. Oh, and here's another cat. Hello, Kano Cat. So this goes back in. Um, I'm definitely going to look up this um, Star Martyr and see if I do a box game and maybe we can look at how we can do this. I like that sound. Go me near. Go me near, little kittens. And let's get this all back in the box. So, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, and drop a comment below with anything you would like to see, even if it is just cat videos. I may just record cats. We do have seven cats, so there's plenty to look at. So thanks for watching and see ya.